Hello and welcome to the Leaders in Live series. Brought to you by Magnite, I'll be joined by sports industry experts to discuss the power of live sport and how technology can unlock amazing opportunities for advertisers and their agency partners. Nine's coverage of the Paris Olympics and Paralympic Games promises to be the most live streamed event in history. To discuss this and more, I'm joined by Jordan King from Nine and Yale Milbank from Magnite. Welcome to you both. Jordan, this is arguably the biggest year of sport in Nine's history. Can you take us through some of the highlights of the sporting calendar this year? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, I'd, I'd probably almost go a step further than that and say it's it's the biggest year of sport for the broadcasters in, in, in total. Like, you think yeah. about what the Matildas were able to produce and, and the excellent coverage that Seven, Seven made and sort of both in B-Bod and Live Linear and, you know, what's going on with the Formula Ones at the moment. Like, it's real getting, really getting that sort of... Uh, Cool, water cooler sort of momentum. Mm -hmm. Tour de France looks excellent. So, like, the broadcasters are doing a really excellent job in saying that. It's a wide world of sports. And, um, you know, we're, we're looking at one of the greatest results that we're ever probably likely to get. You know, the AO this year, from, from a B-Bob perspective, up 53%. State of origin, you expect a big audience to be watching. You're probably going to be, have 40% growth for the series year on year. For the, for the women's origin, 159% up for B-Bod rolling into Paris and the Olympics where you've got 17 days where you know you're just expecting the audiences to be enormous whether they are watching live or whether they're catching up in the morning or watching highlight shows and things like that. Okay let's talk about the advertising opportunity. Sure. What does live streaming offer advertisers they might not be able to get from Linear? How, how does it sort of vary? Well I think that with live streaming I mean, you, with Linear you need really big budgets to, to invest right in terms of media spend like mm. you because you're buying that one spot and it's going to many. The the beauty of live uh, BVOD is the fact that you're able to sort of you can buy um, on an impression base and you can get sort of, you know, a smaller package which might mean that, you know, a, a medium-sized advertiser is going to get the opportunity to run in an NRL grand final or a state of origin where, like, when it was just a single broadcast signal, all that probably was never really there. So I guess it's, it's opening itself up to more diverse um, brands, uh, which is interesting as a consumer. You see that with the, um, with the NFL and the Super Bowl now. They're, they're looking at doing it a bit more programmatically as well and opening those opportunities. I just want to dive a little bit further in terms of your Olympic and Paralympics coverage. Sure. Can you sort of explain what opportunities there are for brands to get involved with that? What sort of interest you've had and, and how people are going to consume sport yeah. and, and, and be able to connect with advertisers where previously they might not have? Yeah, so I mean, like, look, the, the the Olympics is super super exciting. You know, we're going to have forty fast channels um, dedicated to sports. We're going to have two dedicated twenty four hour uh, channels, like that are both linear and live. We'll have highlights packages. You'll be able to sort of consume it any way you, that you want. From an advertiser perspective, you know, you obviously you've got your sponsors and things like that. We have a casual market as well. Like mm -hmm. we're really opening that opportunity up to lots and lots of brands that otherwise probably wouldn't have had that opportunity previously. Mm -hmm. And that's you know, a very programmatic advertising first um, philosophy behind that. And I think that's going to be really, really successful. I think that the consumption trends are going to be so like incredibly interesting to watch as they happen. As we're, you know, we're going to have sort of all this consumption on mobile devices and things like that in the middle of the night. It's a really interesting opportunity when you think about it, Yale, because what you can now do as an advertiser is you can just appear across so many different media channels at the same time. Oh, absolutely. And I think, I think as Jordan started touching on there, it's like this, what happens with the, the games are on when we're all asleep, well, except for those mad fans that are up watching we those swimming those. finals. <laughs> there will be. But, but that, what happens when it, from a technology perspective, how do we handle that massive peak at 7 o'clock mm. in the morning? You know, Australians won four gold medals overnight. I mean, advertisers can get reach velocity very quickly across uh, BVOD now that they, that they weren't in the past. And so we have this massive amount of people that are arriving all at the same time. And we haven't seen that from a streaming perspective. Mm. Um, when we have um, video on demand, which is the core part of our business for, for many years, it's been very even in the way that users turn up. But we now have this technology issue where we have 300,000 people turning up, a million people turning up all at that same exact same second that we need to deliver a, an ad to. And so that's our hurdle that we need to overcome as a technology partner to make sure we can facilitate that auction, make sure that impression can be impressed. We have servers and technology all around the world that we use and we optimise to make sure that we're delivering the, the, the best in class performance for, for our partners. What tech innovations has Nine implemented to make sure advertising fits seamlessly into sport and also that sort of live viewing experience for the Olympics? Yeah, so I mean 
obviously we've got the the 40 vast channels which is going going to be sort of any sport you're interested in go and check it out you know have two 24-hour channels that are streaming constantly that's going to be linear and live uh from in studio we're sort of using augmented reality at a scale that we don't believe has ever done but been done before in australia so the the audience themselves should be more absorbed and and sort of feel like they're closer to the action than they've ever been before, which is going to be fantastic for the advertisers while they're there. It's also, we've got like a really long heritage now for from a, from a BVOD perspective uh, in live sport. We've really learnt a lot of the fundamentals that are going to be important to deliver the best advertising experience and the best audience experience for this. And that's things like, you know, making sure that your video players have got sufficient server bandwidth during what, what are going to be the peaks and making sure that the DSPs don't detect some sort of these massive surges in, in traffic as, as IVT attacks and things like that and switch off the campaign. So, you know, we've sort of been through a lot of this stuff and we're anticipating really huge audiences and really great engagement from the games and we, we feel that from a technological perspective we're really well set up for this. Okay. What about Magnite? Yeah? What are some of the innovations that, that you guys are putting forward to live streaming sport and also things like the Olympics? Yeah, absolutely. So first of all we start with the basics. We make sure not, we're not delivering any back-to-back -back ads. We make sure that the, the ad break is constructed in the right way with the with the right brands and without any conflicting advertiser categories. So we start there at the beginning to make sure that everything is set up as it should be. And from there we make sure that all of the revenue and all of the advertising opportunities flow through and uh, we have a product called Live Stream Acceleration. This ensures a seamless, uh, seamless ad experience for both advertiser and publisher mm -hmm. and um, that is the, the core, to our, core, to core to our product. Okay. When we look into the future, we have um, three core products, SpringServe, uh, our buyer tool Clearline and our core SSP, um, Magnite Streaming. We're looking to how, see how we can bring those three products closer together to ensure that the, the buyer experience as well as the seller continues to evolve over time. Okay, fantastic. Final question, and it's Olympics and Paralympics related. Which events are you guys most looking forward to? Do you have one that stands out and why? I'm a huge basketball fan, so I always love watching the basketball. Um, Who do you think is going to win the basketball? Oh, I think team USA. I think Team USA will probably yeah. go pretty well. What's, what's your favourite event, Yel? Um, I'm a New Zealander, if you hadn't noticed already. So yeah, the Sevens in particular this year. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. No worries. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers.